Whoa. Close. There we go. That was a nice throw. How do you make big progress in the rotational shot put in just a matter of three training sessions? We're going to take you inside a private training session and show you how it went. So check it out. Hey everybody, it's Eric Johnson from Air Tate Throws Nation. In today's video, we're going to go through a rotational shot put training session. We did that for three days. We had why kind of go through his normal progression, what kind of mistakes we saw, what did we see. We're going to then start breaking things down by pillars, right? And showing him specifically what movement issues he's doing at each pillar. Everything was a little too forward in the throw, and that's a big common mistake. And then that's going to time up a late delivery, and that's going to reduce distance in the throw. That was close. All right, when you wind. Okay, so see this? So right here, one of the first things we talk about is how to properly sequence the upper body. Oftentimes throwers are sequencing, they see a lot of things, how active they have to be. Do you, are you passive, are you active? And he was moving the shoulder and arm incorrectly into the throw, and this is what we were kind of covering here to help him understand how to do it correctly. That was a little better. Whoa. That was better. We kind of explained where he needs to be and where he is. And then we started to try to apply changes. So you'll notice on his first few throws, it felt pretty off balance. That was better. The progress changed from the beginning of the session to the end of the session was pretty considerable. That was much better. Yeah, there you go. Okay, not bad. Here's what you're doing. See where you're at? Uh -huh. Here. He's starting to learn how to strike the shot a little better, and we're teaching him the sequence of the throwing chain reaction, how to set up his throw better to get his legs more involved in the lower body ahead of the upper body. So we go through a number of different techniques and things that we actually include in our camps, and we had him going through that, that here. That was better. That was much better. Again, the sequence of how he's moving the upper body into the center of the ring is just not quite right, and that was causing a big problem with him being able to hit the shot. You saw how he slipped earlier. Everything's too forward and up, and so he can't really lift and hit the shot correctly, but he does a nice job of making adjustments. So one of the things we were doing here, again, we, we, we start with the entry and we're starting to teach him how to move into the center of the throw, and you can see his whole movement starting to come around better. That feels better, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah, that was a lot better. Yeah, a lot better. a little better he'd thrown way more in a three-day span so we broke out the med ball so that he could do some self myofascial release work you know some rolling so we were getting the muscles on the front of the shin loosened up because his ankle was starting to feel tight so we kind of kind of showed him where how everything was connected and then we started to loosen him up so he could continue to move through his training session <laughs> Was better. At this point, we're just kind of reiterating positions, alignment, how to set the axis, how to load the legs, how to come through and hit the block, and where the hip's supposed to connect. One of the things about the system is as we corrected things, it really started to expose certain thought processes and movement things that he was doing. We were really kind of finding those specific cues. And again, this is just a matter of three days. We come up with a really good plan to help him be successful when he leaves. That was nice, I like that one. Yeah, there you go. There we go. That was a nice throw. Ooh, that was so good. That looked like it came off the fingers. Oh yeah. Mm. Uh, <laughs> my name is Wyatt Proust. I'm from Pueblo West, Colorado. I've been with the program for about two years now. You did a great job. You worked really hard for the last three days. What did you think of the of the process? Yeah, de definitely um, understanding the pillars on how they function and how your body functions because of the pillars is super important. Having you break it down into those six, it makes it better for us to understand what specific points you're talking about. Then once you like talk about a specific pillar, how that pillar contributes to another pillar and how they connect. Connect. Good. And then once that connects, they almost connect in both throws. So Good. shot put and disc. Would you recommend the program? Oh, no doubt, 100%. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yep, 100%.
If you would like to learn how we took Wyatt step by step to help find the issues that were holding him back, be sure to click the link in the description or in the bio to learn more about the six pillars of the Throwing Chain Reaction System and how it can help you fix your technical issues for bigger and faster PRs. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video. Thank you.